we are underway. It's Exeter City that are uh, kicking from right to left. Jamil Mack fizzes in a volley from the edge of the penalty area that was curling away from Christy Pym and the City stopper had to get something on it and knocks it behind for a corner. into the box, it's swung in right foot, in front of by Stockley, and there we go, as easy as that, Exeter City take the lead, Jaden Stockley has his first at St James Park this season, we've played 21 minutes, it's Exeter City 1, Newport County nil. I was just thinking to myself, Charlie, just before he took the set piece there, that it was a, a, such a good position for a, for a set piece, as long as the right person is taking, and I was kind of thinking it should be a right-footed uh, delivery there, as long as you get the delivery right and the timing of the run right, which Jaden Stockley, his timing is absolutely fantastic, nine times out of ten. It was a great run, great delivery in, and like you said, it was as simple as that. I mean, you can't defend that. If the delivery's right and the run's right, you cannot defend it. And, you know, fair play to Exeter, 1-0, fantastic stuff. Here's Butler on the left-hand side. Early cross from him in towards Ammond. It's just over the top of the striker who goes down. Slight appeals for a penalty. He's picked up by Pike, though, on the right-hand side. Back in again. Doesn't completely clear away from the 18-yard box, and then Sheehan... Volleys the ball over the top. The City players are absolutely furious with the referee here. I think it's Boateng. It's, it's not Boateng. Troy Brown is down inside the six-yard box. Hammond and Tilson then both fall to the ground. A little bit of handbags going on down there. Jamil Matt waiting as well. It's going a little bit ugly inside the six-yard box. More Newport players are now making their way in there as well. I'm not sure. this corner, Lee Holmes whips it in, Stockley looking to get up, good header away by Dimitru, back into the area again, Stockley tries a volley on the edge of the 18 yard box and the referee has blown for something in there, maybe Troy Brown trying to wrestle his way into a position in the City. And it's the last action of the first half here at St James Park, City leading by a goal to nil, we're underway, Newport uh, kicking from right to left, got us going. Tilson volley oh. for 25 yards. Sorry for getting overexcited, but we don't see Tilson do that very often. So, yeah, they need to keep concentrating against Marsh Brown because he, he seems a handful. Thought lays it off to Stockley, 25 yards from goal. Thought about a shot, instead comes right to Sweeney, stabs it into the middle. Holmes with a header and is tipped wide as it is held by Joe Day. Trying to Holmes, thought about crossing right footed, instead cuts back onto his left, it comes across Stockley! Oh. oh, what a fantastic save from Chris Day, I'm not sure he knew too much about it. Into oh. the penalty area, curls it towards goal, and hits it top of the crossbar, and it's behind for a goal kick. City are buzzing around the Newport players here, it's Moxie on the overlap down the left hand side, just Stockley to find in the middle, it's forced oh. its way through, and then Day again claws it off the goal line. He looks forward, Marsh Brown's now gone into a more of a centre-forward role and he's capitalised on a mistake by Moxie and he could let in Harris on the right-hand side, he gets through two challenges and finds the back of the net and Newport County have their equalising goal. Mistakes from City really, Moxie, then Brown beaten, 
and the youngster on loan from Cardiff scores his first of the season. We play in 82 minutes here at St James Park. It's Exeter City 1, Newport County 1. And the referee has his whistle to mouth and blows the full-time whistle.